Grace. I'm back in my apartment in New York. Um, I just got back from my three week long vacation in Taiwan. Um, we, I went back home to visit our parents and you know just stay at home and just relax and chill. One of the things I did there, I did a lot of actually, was watch TV. I couldn't find any good Chinese movies to watch and I used to, we used to love watching Chinese movies. So I want to go and count down my top five Chinese movie franchises, because some of them have sequels and stuff like that, that I love. Number five. I know it kind of looks like a boy band, but it's not. It's the Young and Dangerous series, and there's six movies in total. Well, the Chronicles is a group of friends who start off as high school teenagers and kind of get embroiled into the mafia, the mob in Hong Kong, which is called the Triad. The series kept making movies and progressed over like the last ten years, and the Young and Dangerous series that I grew up with, there were six movies total. They've recently done a Reloaded and they rebooted the franchise, but the, the Young and Dangerous series that I'm talking about is just the six. And it's so good, and I cannot believe I was allowed to watch this as a teenager because, you know, it's about, you know, it's about the mob. So there's like sex, violence, rape, death. Oh my god, there's so much. Yeah, watch it. My favorite one out of the whole series is number two and number six. Number, I don't know why, but I just really like one of the um, characters whose name is Chicken. I'm just saying. Jordan Chen's character, his name is Chicken. I don't know why, I just really like him. He plays like a really perverted guy, but he's really loyal and I just, I just like his character because he's kind of funny. So yeah, that's not my number five choice. Number four is a little bit more lighthearted, and it's the Royal Tramp series. Um, there's two movies, Royal Tramp 1 and 2, Looting G. And it stars Stephen Chow. And you guys might know him from Kung Fu Hustle as Shaolin Soccer, but I know him as Wei Xiao Bao, who he plays in the series. It's not even your classic Chinese hero. He's like, he plays someone who's illiterate at first, and he plays like a, just a smart mouth, and kind of gets himself into trouble, and winds up in the, in the palace, and blah, blah. But just watch it. It's a lot of fun. There's so many, like, you know, Canto stars in there because there's so many different characters to play in this series of, of stories. And, yeah, so watch it. My favorite is number two, but you definitely have to watch the first one to get the second one. There's a lot of characters, and it kind of moves really fast within an hour and a half, but it's still a really big one. And my number three choice is still a Stephen Chow movie. It's actually my favorite Stephen Chow movie of all time. It's called Hail the Judge, Zhou Ping Zi Ma Guan. And... Um, it, I feel like it just showcases Stephen Chow's talent so much. It was it's really classic Stephen Chow. He plays a judge, and it's kind of a play. It's a parody on this classic Chinese hero who's also a judge called Bao Qingtian. And for some reason, that classic hero is very tan. Hail the judge thing. They kind of like he makes lighthearted and calls himself the pale face Bao Qingtian. It, it's a lot of fun and. Uh, it's one of my fa it's the funniest it's the funniest Stephen Chow film I think it's just hilarious and it's so good I learned a lot of curse words when I was little watching this I, I learned a lot of curse words as a child by watching this because I learned a lot of ways to yell at someone my number two choice is not Stephen Chow even though it's Stephen Chow related actually it's the God of Gambler series and there's five movies in there in total it started with God of Gamblers this is Chow Yun Fat China Fat and Anne Liao and the God of Gamblers, which started in 1989. And this is pretty funny. Within the series, in real life, Stephen Chow made a parody of it called All for the Winner in 1990. And that got kind of, it was so, it was kind of a spin off, but a parody at the same time. And it was so good that the second movie, the official sequel to God of Gamblers, God of Gamblers 2, actually incorporates Stephen Chow's character into it. He's one of the main characters, him and Andy Liao. Um, China and Fat's not in the second one, but he does make a cameo appearance. And after that, okay, this is where it gets confusing. They made a third movie called God of Gambler Returns. And that took place, and they made that in 1994. And that's Chow Yun Fat. And because there's a God of Gamblers 2 and there's a God of Gamblers Returns, sometimes there's confusion of what exactly is the official second God of Gamblers movie. And then after that is God of Gamblers 3, which is really confusing because it's actually the fourth movie, technically. And it's a prequel. It's an awesome prequel. And it actually features Jordan Chen, who's in the Young and Dangerous series. So, you know, it all ties in, it all ties in. And speaking of Chow Yan Fat, this leads me to my favorite movie, my number one, number one. Always have to rewatch it, because it's so funny. It's Diary of a Big Man. Um, 
and it's chow yun fat and it's a comedy rule. There's no action in it whatsoever. It's a modern day, well, modern day technically. This is filmed in like the 1980s. It's just about him as a stockbroker who marries two women. It's somehow he finds a way and make it legal something like that. And he marries two women, but the women don't know that he actually is married to another woman. There's even an inexplicable music number to it. When you look at Chow Yun-fat, you don't think of him as, a, him as a comedic actor just because of all the movies you've seen him in. You know what I'm saying? Like when you see Chow Yun-fat, you probably don't think of him that way. But I do because of this movie, Diary of a Big Man, and he's amazing in it. Watch it, love it, and thank me. Grace, I know you watch all these movies, and I know you love all these movies, too. So let me know if there's anything else I'm missing from the list. Sorry, I had to adjust because this one wanted to be on my lap. Hi, I'm back. We're reunited. I missed my mommy so much. Woo! Hi, Auntie Faye.